Welcome to Worldview. Yes, that's right, Worldview. A slight name change, but same terrific program, showcasing stories and different perspectives from around the world. We're glad you're joining us for this edition. The old saying, everything in moderation, is very true in our first story. Kirsty Hansen from UNTV shows us how over-testing for disease might not be the best course of action. Advances in medical imaging are allowing doctors to detect hidden disease and make more accurate diagnoses. But experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency say that overuse of high-tech scanning procedures may unnecessarily expose patients to increased radiation. Concerns surround procedures like CT scans. They deliver higher doses of radiation to patients. The average radiation dose of one CT scan is equal to about 500 chest X-rays. And that can increase a patient's lifetime risk of cancer, particularly if the scans are repeated. Radiologist Dr. Robert Kosura has witnessed a boom in the use of CT scans in the past three years. The boom under which is the radiology now um, is probably a little bit challenged for the future because now sometimes we don't know if we, uh, have, we can continue with so much uh, examinations at that rate, at that pace for the uh, good of the patients. So probably in the future we have to be a little bit more um, careful about the radiation dose. It's getting more and more important with uh, more and more examinations done and with the younger and younger patients examined. It's an issue that's caught the attention of the world's nuclear authority. The IAEA wants greater emphasis given to radiation protection of patients. We certainly do not intend to create fear about radiation. We certainly want to say that the use of X-ray is more beneficial than the harm. We only want to cut down on unnecessary radiation exposure. There is a potential for dose re reduction in many imaging investigation, again to the tune of on an average of 50 percent. So this calls for action. A smart card to register how much radiation a person receives in the course of a lifetime is part of that plan. Nationally, regionally, internationally, healthcare, like much of life, is going towards electronic records. Smart card technology should be used, among possibilities, to track procedures and to track the radiation doses that might result from those procedures. It's an ambitious plan, but developing X-ray machines that provide the radiation dose from an examination should eventually allow this data to be included in a person's medical records. Better still, in the electronic healthcare cards that more and more people carry today.